His next attempt involves filling the vase with sushi, but it becomes so heavy he can't even pick it up. The neck of the vase is also too narrow for his hand to go through, so the man has no other choice but to use chopsticks and remove a bunch of sushi piece by piece. Moments later, once he's removed enough, he manages to barely pick up the vase, so he does exactly that and takes it closer to the buttons. When he gets there, he finds himself having to put down the vase on the floor because he has lost which button it was again, and when he tries one, the African tribesman comes out and accidentally bumps into the base, causing it to crack and break in half. This sends the man over the edge, who, as he freaks out and yells nonstop, finds the right button and begins covering it with sushi. This, of course doesn't work either, and the little member pops up among the rice. Then the man tries covering the button with tape, followed by tape plus a steel plate, but nothing works. After taking some painkillers to deal with the pain caused by the door every time it hits him on his back and a nap as well, the man wants to wash his teeth. So he presses a button to get water, 